downtown if you have underwear on you're overdressed. All that applause for me, what am I putting out after? One standing ovation, everyone goes home pregnant. You packed up my suitcase and he left. <laughs> my life completely fell apart today. And here's why. My father-in-law owns my house and he took it back when his son left me. Actually, that doesn't sound funny at all. Nothing. You call me nothing. You don't talk to me or look at me. If you see me on the street, you will cross the street, whether or not there is a crosswalk present. Your pedestrian safety is of no importance to me anymore. It's the bras and the, the girdles and the corsets all designed to cut off the circulation to your brain. So you walk around on the verge of passing out, and you look at your husband, and he tells you things, and you just believe him. In fact, calling nothing a house is like calling the Vatican a church. I will lead on this drunk or stone. What, what if that's the only reason I was funny? Like, I can't get loaded every time I come on stage. What happened to all the guys? They're clustered in a corner. Why do they do that? Why do they cluster like that? Because we intimidate them or because they're finally admitting they don't know anything about cars? <laughs> <laughs> Lots of tears and catharsis over that. Or maybe they're just hoping to start a really easily winnable game of tug of war. <laughs> Or it's just a bunch of guys who didn't make their high school team talking about how Mickey Mantle can improve his swing. <laughs>